Hi, this is Gail from Dimmeborger, and you are listening to Brutally. Delicious. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> delicious. Brutally delicious. <laughs> Hey, you're listening to the Brutally Delicious Podcast. I'm Bruce. And this is Rina from Silentium. And I'm Chris. Yes. My, name is, so, my name is Chris. <laughs> His name is Chris. Yeah. And today, today we've got a really special one. We're going to be speaking with, I have trouble pronouncing it, so we're going to let Rina go ahead and say it. Today we're going to be speaking with... Dimo Borger. There you go. It sounds so much better. And how do you pronounce his name, Miss Finnish? I don't know. Oh, come on, you're killing me. Gale, but but that's probably not how the Norwegians would, would say it. Well, well, it doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't yeah. hurt to ask. We're gonna have to ask. Either way, let's go ahead and get them on the line because I'm excited about this. This is a really cool old school band. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let me grab mom. This is recording. Hello. Hello. Hello, my friend. How are you, Bruce Moore? Hi, Bruce. I'm good. Thank you. I've got my partners with me. If you don't mind, I've got Chris. Hi. And then we've got Selena, Rina joining us from Salentium in Finland. Hi. Oh. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Thank you for taking the time. I know you're busy and you just got out of the studio. Oh, it's been long days. Yeah, I just I've uh, been home for like 20 minutes or so now. So uh, yeah, we'll try to finish up some new songs. You know, try to make the best out of the, the, the Corona situation. So. How's that? Like a good time for you guys to get some new material going. It is, and we were we were quite lucky because we came from uh, quite a long tour, came home in yeah early February, and we were supposed to do like a big American and and, uh, and Canadian tour, but we postponed it because we wanted to start working on the album, and I'm so glad we did because I have friends. They have millions in, uh, they have to pay for tickets, the crew, hotels, all of this. So they they don't know what to do now because of all the money that's out there. Yeah. Yeah. So, exactly. uh, yeah. And it's, yeah, it's, I know <coughs> we were lucky. It's the crews that are getting like screwed over the most because, you know, they, they depend on the income of the tours and, and they're not happening. Like, for instance, here in Finland, what well, you obviously know about Nightwish, their mm -hmm. crew just produced a cover album of Nightwish songs that they did themselves to get some income. So oh, <laughs> that's that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, it is. Their, their first song is out. Now. They did a cover of the, I don't want to say which song it is because I can't remember, but who <laughs> is the name that they go by. So if people want to check it out, then. Oh, wow. That's that's so awesome. No, that, you're right. You're right. I didn't think about that. But because I have... It's a lot of artists that that's that's are they are in studio now and, and record albums and, and uh, I'm fortunate I play the keyboard the less metal instrument in the world but <laughs> it's, <Yeah. laughs> that means it's not so many of us so so I'm lucky I have my studio in my my flat and I can so I can produce and, and send and I can also go out and and, and uh, work in studio with, with artists so yeah I can imagine that the crews. Uh, 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 having a much rougher time. I've been lucky, but it's different money. It's it's the whole situation. I mean, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. As musicians, we can still work at our craft, but they really can't. And you know, it's it's not like you can get rich being a roadie or a sound engineer. And you know, usually people count on this income. And yeah, when it's yeah. gone, then you're 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 kind of screwed. And it's. I mean, uh, we we are. In, I mean. Uh, they, they, they are. Uh, I know some friends of mine. They, they got some money from the government, but <clears throat> that is mostly uh, bands that are based in Norway and play in Norway and have more most of the income in Norway. We don't, right? Yeah. So we have no rights, right? So mm -hmm. uh, and I just I, d I just didn't want to go into that system. And, uh, so I've been. Uh, I've been working in a music store two or three days a week. Right. Yes. Wow. Uh, rock star my ass. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait, you, you mean there's no mansions and boats and everything? Huh? There's no mansions and boats? Uh, 
Well, no, no, no it is, it is, you know, it's, it's, it is no money from streaming like it was before. Yeah. So, so, I mean, the main income is, is the gigs and, and, and merch. Yeah. So, so, uh, so everyone yeah. go buy a Demu shirt right now. Mm. You guys have like a lot of cool merch. Have, have you put any effort into, into making something weird and amazing and awesome now in this time to sort of <clears throat> for the lost tour money? No, we haven't. We it's so many that does it, and we don't. We don't. Uh, no, we didn't spend any energy on, on doing that. We are. We are planning a hell of a, um, a package when Dimmer are thirty years old in three years in twenty three. So right. the main focus is to to get good design <coughs> on things, uh, so we can prepare it for for the anniversary and uh yeah did Man. you ever imagine you'd be doing this 27 years later uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't <laughs> this is the only thing i can so uh yeah i hope i have i, I turned 50 now in july so i'm i ordered the return ticket yeah <laughs> right <laughs> so now i hope i hope i can do this for for 20 more years i mean as long as the makeup it's okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> As, when I get older, I just have to use less of it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> less makeup, it'll make you look old. Yeah. Do you, find that, do you find that this whole lockdown and being, you know, not able to go anywhere is helpful to the creative process? Are you creative now? No. Um, <clears throat> no. Um, when this and the whole thing started in 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 march um before this i was like i was hoping for oh can i have just like a week just on my own in my studio i can play around and and have fun right because it's always always things to do and then suddenly the lockdown came and i had to stay home nothing came nothing <laughs> oh man it was it was just it was uh, but i talked to lots of friends and, and they had the same because you can't choose it right then then it's a whole different thing so uh no it, it took some time now it's 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 starting to lose up i mean we had summer it was it was a nice summer here and i don't like to sit in the warm studio and work too much in the summertime right no, but can. uh <clears throat> fortunately I, I'm, I'm i'm starting to get some of the the eager to to be creative again that's good was it nice being back in the studio then oh it's so nice and and uh it's a it's a hell of a team with my my brothers up there and, and we are we are in a better place that we've never been before that's awesome. the same. yeah it's it's really and i think we start to to appreciate everything more now yeah uh, some people have been tired of all the touring and, and stuff but i think we don't talk about that anymore. Now everybody will want to go out on the road. Right. Again, so. When you don't have it, it means something more. Yeah. So I think it's, it's an eye opening for, for a few. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I bet it is. I bet mm -hmm. it is. What, what's like your target timeline for the new stuff? Uh, the new songs? Yeah. It is dimmer. It is hopefully it is Dimmer Burger for sure. No, no, so, no, like the target timeline. What like with what schedule are you aiming to get it out there? Uh, the album. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Um, well, it depends. We were we were talking about that um, on the rehearsal place today, and and we we're, we're not sure that it will open up. I mean, the first gig we have is in June, and now they're waiting for the second wave and and they are pronouncing it it will be bigger than the first wave of, yeah. of COVID-19 so that means that we will have how many months did we have now five four yeah. five or six yeah and we will get that and maybe even more because of the flu season it's easier to spread because people are going around coughing and, and sneezing and, and all of this so I don't think we can we can uh, I don't I, I can't see that we can do, do like Vakken, 95,000 people right. next year already. I don't know how we can do that. I hope, but I don't know how, how, uh, how it can happen. Yes, yeah, so you'd rather sit on the, the new album 
until it's safe to also tour with it and like yeah yeah okay. at least we, we started early and uh, this time we had some yeah some haters since we spent eight years before between the Dabra Hadabra and Aona now so <laughs> right hey, hey, so. we spent 12 years making a new album and now we released it and it's like boom no touring <laughs> yeah it's a whole new model right i mean how do you release a record and not tour on it that's how you get it noticed right yeah 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 of course and, and, yeah so I, I think we're well we we need at least a year on this album we are on song two. Oh wow all right okay so uh but the worst thing is to, to make song one done so we know what direction and then uh yeah, break the ice <laughs> yeah so uh, we're working on song two now so uh, we're up there today and we're gonna up, going up there tomorrow we work two three days a week every week oh nice so yeah it is it is really cool so now, uh, are you doing this in a rehearsal space or are you doing this at a recording studio this is we did some jamming in the rehearsal place which is just um five minutes by car to shagrat's place so we are actually sitting in Chagrat's, uh, Chagrat's uh, studio because he have a he have a big house uh, on the countryside, and uh, I'm the only guy that live in uh, in Oslo in the center. So right. I rather go up there because the rest of the guys are located yeah, nearby. Sure. So cool. it's, yeah, it's 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 okay. It's forty minutes up, forty minutes down. And uh, they're making good things. Uh, and you get to hang out with the guys again. That is that is real, actually really nice. Uh, and everybody's everybody's really really up for it, and, and uh, it's really smooth. Sometimes you know it's, you can get some nagging in the studio, don't agree on everything. It hasn't. I mean, we started working on this album for uh, three months ago now, and, and we didn't have one fight yet. Ah, well, huh? that's that's got to be a record. That's got to be a rock and roll heavy metal record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so no, it, it's it's good times. It's it's really cool. After this year, then we can still have so much fun together. That's awesome. Chris, Rena. you got me. Chris, I I I don't have anything. Rena, I do. Can Go. can you say hi to my boys in Finlandio? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Can you say, can you just say hi, Tommy? You're fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Tommy. You're fucking great. Beautiful. Came with Sammy, but close enough. <laughs> okay, okay, Sammy. Sorry about that. No, you're great. Hey, can I ask you? Can I ask you a question? No, how do you pronounce your name? I don't want to butcher it with the American version of it. Is it Gear? Uh, Gabe. Gear. Yeah. Okay. I was Gabe, right. Yeah, Gabe, yeah you were right. I was afraid to say it in the beginning because I was going to come out with my New York accent. It was going to be Gear, <laughs> and I know that's nowhere near. I'm, I'm, I'm used to that. Don't pronounce him about it. Please just say it the way you say it. Yeah. <laughs> that works great. <laughs> Perfect. Right, okay. That's Close awesome. Hey, I, I, yeah, it's great. I want to thank you for taking the time. I know you're busy. I told you I'd keep it short, so thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, nice, nice chat. So uh, I'm gonna get, cook some dinner now and go to bed so I can be fresh for tomorrow's rehearsing. Awesome. I'm done working now. I'm gonna go crack a beer. So enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Have a good you. evening. Be well. Good night. Enjoy Good night. Be safe. Cheers. You too. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Welcome to my 120 seconds or less of Brutally Delicious. I'm Ashley, and today we're checking out Bad Moon Born out of Sydney, Australia. So, Bad Moon Born is a five-piece crew that was formed in 2015. They feature influences from bands like um, Guns N' Roses, Audio Slave, Avenged Sevenfold, and some Alter Bridge. Um, they have several other extended singles out and an EP called War is One, which is pretty fucking good. Anyways, their most recent release was a single called Bad Guy. And I guarantee anyone who will ever listen to this podcast or at least shops at a corporate chain grocery store that plays the same shit over and over and over again has heard it. You know, it's that sultry Billy Eilish song. And I don't think that it's easy to replicate the weird pitch or vibe that her voice is capable of, even though she has no business singing about half the shit she sings about. But that being said, I think Jordan and Ned nailed their vocals perfectly. And uh, 
Shout out to the kids in the back. The band is nothing without the rhythm section. Anyway, shortly after their EP was released in early, yeah, it was early last year, um, Jordan assumed the lead vocals immediately. So following the lineup change, this group started touring um, nationwide as support for Buck Cherry and Hardcore Superstar. Um, during the tour, their stage presence was incredibly electric with tons of well-known music critics happily returning with exceedingly positive reviews. With that being said, I personally recommend Face to Face and Road Warrior, also a recent EP, and it can be found on your choice of music platform like Spotify or Apple Music. And we'll catch you next time.